apologies Holding back, I got history kind of in a battle with myself this morning and I'm gonna I started to say I'm gonna win but that really makes absolutely no sense anyways we're gonna be productive today okay we're filming today we're gonna get things done today around the house I have you some stuff we're gonna win? do I'm gonna win yes oh. it's Friday Bryce doesn't have school my man's still disgusting that's why I have my my camera angled this way. We just got Miles' toddler bed in yesterday. We ordered it from Amazon, and so I'm gonna be putting that together today, rearranging the room that him and Liam are sharing now. Just all the things, okay? So we're gonna go get coffee to hype myself up because it is 8.55 and I haven't had any caffeine. And Happy Meals. Happy Meals. Every time we leave the house, Bryce asks if we're gonna get Happy Meals. He's currently in his jam jams eating a sausage and pancake on a stick. Miles looks like he's sad. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. You get vanilla coffee. Vanilla coffee? Yeah, that's you get. But I want to get chocolate coffee. It's so good for me. <laughs> Do y'all hear him right now? Hold on. I don't even know if I'm in focus. So I did get two coffees today. And I don't want to hear any judgment. And the reason why is because they got some holiday drinks out at my local coffee shop. All of them, Miles is coughing again. So that's, I'm, I'm so excited about that. All of them were like mint ones. And I have mixed feeling, like I like mint chocolate, but I don't know if I'm going to like it in a coffee. So I got a small, but their small isn't like a Starbucks small. Their small is like a grande. And then I got my go-to in case this is nasty. So it's just an ice white mocha with oat milk. And then I got the toasted marshmallow cold foam. But I want, I want chocolate coffee. You give me it. He's relentless. This is an Andy's treat, is what they called it. It was the best sounding one. They said they're supposed to be Andy's on top of it, but they ran out of it. Iced mocha paired with creme de menthe. Don't make fun of me. Topped with mocha and more of that in the cold foam. And then Andy's mints crushed on top. Let's give her a whirl. Drink it. Mmm. Is it yummy? Can I tweak it? I need to take you somewhere and get you some chocolate milk. Cause caffeine's the last thing you need. This tastes good. Uh, I now I have two coffees. What have I done? It's okay though. It's okay. I'm gonna drink this and then I'm just gonna put this in the fridge. I can drink a coffee. This is like a coffee and a half, but this does taste like a, like an Andy's mint. Like the little, are those the mints you get at Olive Garden? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. So for a minute there, I felt kind of bad that I didn't get them a chocolate milk at the coffee shop because I used to do that where we used to live and then they feel like they have the same thing as me. But this from McDonald's was only $1 and a chocolate milk from the coffee shop was probably like four bucks or something stupid. So I'm gonna do it like this instead of taking this film off so they're less likely to make a mess. We need a taste test. It's good? Mm -hmm. Good deal. Thank you. You're welcome. But mouse tree is going almost in the chair. Yeah, I know. It almost fell. We have some chicken taco meat that we made in the crock pot. And we made enough to where we could just put the crock pot back on today. I'll just keep it on keep warm all day. And I love doing this. It's so simple because it's just chicken. We use chicken tenderloins, salsa, and taco seasoning or chicken taco seasoning and that's all you have to do and you let it cook all day and you could make chicken tacos some burritos quesadillas which i really like to do for the kids and like i said we usually eat on it for a couple of nights so very budget friendly as well look at this this is how much of an apple bryce ate and then he was over it he loves to do that i also wanted to note that i did not tell them to put oat milk in this i told them i wanted to try it how they make it and see how it is. Usually I don't like the taste of it if it's not made with oat milk. Yes, I get cold foam and yes, it has dairy in it, but I don't know, I can taste the difference if the coffee part of it on the bottom is not made with oat milk, but it's really good. I wonder if the foam from this one is gonna just like turn to crap sitting in the fridge today. We'll see how long she sits because I can put away some coffee. You guys know this. You don't feel good. This is very unfortunate. He just got better. Is this gonna be round two? 
You do not look like you feel well. I took his temperature earlier today and he didn't have a fever, but uh, <sighs> just feels so warm to me. Oh, oh, no, don't move. Don't move. It's red. No way. Oh, two. Please let there be chewable ibuprofen in here because this kid does not take liquid medicine. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. I'm gonna sit you down, babe. Hold on. These. They're pretty inexpensive, okay? And if you have a kid that, like, it's just torture to give them liquid medicine, chewable tablets will be your best friend. Chewable. You've got this. He's so stinking cute that my heart cannot take it. I'll watch him. He's gonna take a little bite out of it. Like, for what? Like, what's the, what's the reason? What's the reason? Look at it. Mmm, <laughs> that's yummy. That looks like something we're gonna keep down and we're not gonna spit up because we need it, okay? Please, Jesus. Not me, okay? Not me. We're not doing it again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, didn't we say today was gonna be a good day? Hmm? One of you guys told me to mix these emergencies Mom. with Sprite. Mom. And that's an excellent idea. I don't have any Sprite though, or else I would have. Girl, what? Do y'all see this? We're just gonna have a bagel with a schmear, strawberry cream cheese. I have to force myself to eat in the mornings and not just drink coffee. And this is something that almost always sounds really good. And it's so cheap, like a couple bucks for some bagels and a couple bucks for the cream cheese. It's awfully gloomy outside today. So I feel like my house is like, the lighting in here is not very giving. As you guys can see, ornaments are every, oh, everywhere, okay, other than the tree. The bottom's quite bare. I told myself this year I was not gonna leave the bottom bare. I didn't, I did not. I keep adding them back, but Miles keeps taking them off. I guess he hasn't really attacked this side so much. Also, these big ones that I just bought have fallen victim to Miles. Let me see if I can find, where'd I stick it? Here she is, look at her. Oh, well, she looks fine, but hold on, she's not fine. Give me a second. One little tug, cause it's technically broken. So she's tucked. She's, she's got her spot back here. Little pop of red. I don't remember if I told you guys that we got family photos done recently, but I have them hanging literally all over my house. I have four of them above the TV. And then over here above our messy desk, we have the photos that we received in black and white. So we got them in these black frames, but we hate hanging stuff up. So we decided to use mixed tiles. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna pop this off here. We love mixed tiles and we probably won't hang anything any other way in the future because all you have to do, it's just two magnets. That's all there is to it. So we kind of butted these up against each other, but look, watch. All I have to do is just stick it. Stick it and it's on there. I just did that one handed while holding the camera. Please ignore all this because it is still over here. But I wanted to show you these huge ones that we got printed really huge because these are my favorite ones. Love this self explanatory. How cute are the boys? This one right here, love it. We love her. Josh is a little sad that he didn't have his beard in these but I still think they look good. This one right here is kind of funny because this is totally a Miles photo. Like this is totally him. She actually had to stand back there and told the boys to run to us and hug us, which Miles obviously didn't really understand, but this is literally him because he's always off in his own little world. Like I don't know what he was looking at while the other boys <laughs> ran up to us and hugged us. He's just like, huh? And I just think it's really, really cute. I wanna just swap these out. Okay, let's say I just wanna rearrange them, if you will. Now you do have to kind of like, you know, I have to get them even, so excuse that. But look how simple it is. Look at that. Now they're probably not perfect because again, I have to like line them up and stuff. You can peel this off and I can move this to a different room if I want to. And there's absolutely no damage to the wall. No holes in the wall. I actually like me and Josh in the middle, so I am just gonna put this back. No, it's going. I don't know if I got them straight. I'm like a perfectionist. I'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys as well as the best discount code that I can offer you. It'll be down below. These are so worth the money in my opinion. And like I said, you can go on their website and you can get, there's so many different options, different sizes, different color frames. Cause I have these wood frames in here. They have white frames. And then like I said, you can get black frames. I could have had these where they filled up the whole entire frame, but I wanted to get the white around it. There's just so many options to choose from. You, you'll be on the website for a little while trying to figure out what you want to do. Cause I was, this would also 
make a really good gift. I know I bring up my mom a lot here recently, but my mom would have loved something like this. Photos of the grandkids and she could just stick them on the wall and she wouldn't have to worry about having any kind of tools, putting holes in the wall, you know what I mean? So these really would be a really good gift. But anyways, I'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys. Highly recommend. If we do a little spin, don't look at my dirty house. I, mixed tiles are everywhere in my house and in the bedrooms. Obsessed. It looks pretty rough in here right now, but this is the current state of the bedroom that Liam and Miles are now sharing, including Miles' chewed up crib. I've told you guys this before, but when Bryce had this crib, he literally chewed it up. Also, this crib doesn't match anything else in here. So that's why we got the toddler bed that I'm gonna set up. This is actually new, which obviously it has a tag on it. I haven't put anything in here yet except for some diapers. But the only reason we bought this, we actually bought two of these and the matching nightstands because when we were at the furniture store getting our couch and love seat, we saw these in the back and you guys, they were only $140, which is cheaper than the dresser that was in Bryce's room. And the one in Bryce's room literally was such poor quality. We got it from Big Lots and it just was already falling apart. We literally just gave it away for free. So now we have two of these nice quality dressers for the boys. And the nightstands, I have to actually unbox the one that's going to go in here. So I have to do that as well. But yeah, it's kind of rough in here. This definitely does not match this dresser. And I kind of need to clean up in here too. I was going to show you guys what the nightstand looks like. Bryce's room is kind of messy right now too. But as you can see, again, I have to take the tags and stuff off. Well, I haven't taken the tag off because attached to it is like some extra safety stuff to attach these to the wall, which we are going to do. But this is what their matching nightstands look like he kind of snatched this off of my coffee bar and brought it to his room and then also this little did he stuff something in there oh no it's just falling apart oh nice okay anyway he brought those things in here into his room also our old mattress is just chilling in here we have nowhere else to put it and we're giving it away but we haven't made it that far yet so bryce's room has the most extra space in it so it's just chilling it's fine so one thing about me is I'm not trying to look for stuff and so I need to take apart the crib and I don't want to look for the tool you need to take apart the crib but I'm wondering if there's one in here because I'm having to put this together you know what I mean and I texted Josh to ask him where it was but he hasn't texted me back like I'm better off <gasps> do you have a big boy bed oh you're gonna immediately stand on it i thought he was gonna start jumping but he didn't i'm not sure exactly how i feel about the placement of the beds yet but i did this because of the tv being over here miles won't really be watching tv in here liam will and then he's gonna have the xbox in here so i try to make sure that his bed is in a good spot in comparison to the tv but i don't really know if i'll leave miles's over here or if it'll end up over here on this wall again i'm just i'm unsure if you guys have any ideas of the layout how the layout of the bedroom should be taking into consideration that the tv's over here let me know but i am happy that at least all of the furniture matches 
That's why I got this toddler bed. I actually didn't know that they made toddler beds like this. I thought they were all like wooden ones. So when I found this, I was excited because you guys know Liam and Bryce's beds are both like this and they're just black. And I felt like that was easy and simple and we could always get their furniture like nightstands and dressers to match because we could just get any color really as long as the like hardware or the handles were black, then it would match. Oh my gosh, I didn't put the nightstand in here yet. Hey, right, I don't know if the nightstand's gonna fit y'all. So this was tricky. I moved it around a couple of times, but I think I fixed the problem. I put the crib, not the crib, oh my goodness, the toddler bed against the wall the way the crib was. And it just looked funny because the, the bed was facing the TV, but it, it just looked funny and it was unnecessary. So I think this little layout will work. And then the nightstand can go over here beside Liam's bed. It seems like this room feels smaller than Bryce's, but Josh says they're the same size. So I think it just feels smaller because it's the room that two kids are in now instead of just one. But I wanna set up the nightstand really quick. The nightstand box is part of the clutter that's over here. So that's what this is. So I guess at least that will be out of the way now. I've been sweating. All this is just taking longer than I thought it would. It's taking all day. Josh takes his hands and he just goes down like this and rips open the corner of these boxes. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you a human box cutter? Because that's what he was doing. Oh, yeah. And then I get it open, watch it be the, like, not the right knot stand. <laughs> My camera's about to die. Ugh. I got it out. Let's see if I can show it to you guys in the room before my camera does. Now this is just ridiculous. Here she is, little matching dresser. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, we've cooled down and you guys are nice and charged. I wore myself out doing all that, okay? Looks like a couple hours process. We got a couple more things in the mail for Christmas. This, which I had popped up a picture in my What I Got the Kids for Christmas video. If you guys haven't seen that, this is for Miles. It just seems like something that he would love playing with, just pulling these things in and out and all that. Liam's red and black basketball. I'm not gonna take it out of here because we can just wrap it like this, you know what I mean? So I don't wanna like mess that up and have to redo it. Miles' fever broke and I had a friend tell me that her son got a fever a couple of days ago. She said she gave him ibuprofen one time and it broke and it didn't come back. So that's what we're hoping for. I've been trying to drink my water. When I first got this Stanley, I was drinking water like absolutely crazy and it wore off like the effect of the new beautiful cup wore off. <gasps> I didn't show you guys. It also took a tumble and I was pissed, okay? I sat it down, if you have a van, okay? I sat it down in the floorboard in front of where Miles sits, like in the middle section, sat in the floorboard, got him out of his car seat, and he's so long, he accidentally kicked it. It flew out of the van and onto a like concrete driveway. She took a tumble. She has, you know, the lighting is just not ideal. Hold on. We're gonna go over here by the window for optimal lighting. Do you see that right there? This down here? This lighting's not, it's not. The other end of my straw is messed up, so I have to always put the straw in this way so that you can't see it. Flip it over to this side. She took a tumble. There's like scuff marks all over her. And you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but the handle is messed up too. It's, it really, you really can't see it well on video, guys. But she really got messed up, okay? She really got messed up and I was sad. I'd have it for like a week and a half. I don't know how y'all are doing Vlogmas every year because I haven't done Vlogmas not one year. Vlogmas, Vlogmas, haven't done it not one year because I know myself and I know that I cannot do it. My goal is to upload more in December, but we'll see how it goes. Like I can't, I like, I was just looking, like I, I can't even keep up with my house y'all. I don't get it, I don't get it. But I do wanna post more often. Sometimes I just don't know what to post. My sister was like, you should post a Q and A, ask people for questions. And I'm like, I, I don't even know if people have questions to ask me at this point. Maybe you guys do, let me know. But I'll tell you one thing. Yesterday I told myself that I was going to go inside of Walmart and film and then film a little grocery haul and I did not do it. 
the thought of it. I ended up having an actual terrible day yesterday because I don't really know why, but I know I didn't want to go in Walmart and film in Walmart, so I did not. And so I'm only going to do that whenever I feel up for it, for real, because I just, I, it's not what I enjoy. And I feel like I need to stick to what I enjoy so that I can avoid burnout and lack of motivation. So that's what we're going to do. Can I help you, sir? Because he has just been staring at me. His eyes look kind of sad, like kind of sicky. Oh, he also did not, he's not allowing me to keep this gnome on my nightstand that I showed you guys. Every time I put it in there, he brings it out here. I will say I do enjoy having this rug down here because it's so much more enjoyable to sit in the floor with the kids and stuff like that. And it does feel so much more cozy. You guys were commenting on my last video. A lot of you guys said an area rug would pull the space together and make it not look so weird that it's a couch and a love seat instead of a sectional. And you guys are totally right. As soon as I put the, the rug down, I felt so much better. And I think I'm getting used to the look of a couch and love seat. I think I was just used to the look of a sectional. One of you guys said you had a, a couch and a love seat and you switched to a sectional and felt the same way. It felt like it looked weird. So I think it's just what I was used to. I love it. And again, I got it from Walmart. Yes. I put curtains and curtain rods and a rug and everything in my Amazon cart. And then I found a similar rug at Walmart because the one that I was going to get at Amazon was very similar to this. So then I put curtains, curtain rods and everything in this rug in my cart for Walmart. And it was like $90 cheaper to order from Walmart. So that's what I did. But we're going to hydrate. It's Friday. So I'm very, very excited. Josh will be home soon. I'm literally going to relax all weekend slash edit. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I do plan to do some videos that are a little bit different than just a regular vlog. Like I want to do a morning routine very, very soon. I've had a lot of you guys request that. If you have any more requests of things that you do want to see, let me know. But I am going to end today's vlog here because I, again, I'm exhausted. I think the coffee, all that coffee really jacked me up and now I'm crashing. I could literally take a nap. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I know all the boys weren't in today's video, but I am a mom to three boys, ages seven, four, and two. We do a lot of motherhood content on this channel. And I do occasionally do grocery hauls and shop with me's and cleaning and recipes, all the things. So definitely subscribe before you leave and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.